Welcome back. So you guys know on this channel, we always like to see nice paint and uh, do a good quality job. So I want to show an aspect of the job that's not usually on videos. And a lot of guys kind of don't highlight this feature, but it's a very important part of the job. And that's the corrosion protection on areas that you weld and non-visible areas. You want to make sure that you get paint on all those welds that are put on these new panels on both sides, that way it's treated. And then after the car is painted, you wanna definitely do this cavity wax. And this here is a product like the OE puts on in the factory inside the doors and inside rockers, and it definitely prevents rust. So we make sure we do that. And uh, that's what ensures a quality job when you're doing these collision jobs. You wanna make sure you treat the back of the welds. So you guys see, we put a new bedside on this panel. So everywhere that you weld this to the inner, you wanna make sure you get paint on the back side. So you have a bare metal on the back side of this, where this panel was put on, and everywhere else inside these holes, up here in the front. Everywhere it's welded, you wanna make sure you get paint on the inside, especially being a truck, because this is gonna be subject to a lot of water and definitely a lot of the uh, environment factors that can rust it. So I like to e-coat everything and make sure I get paint. So as I'm painting this, we're gonna be painting this wheelhouse because we put in these, these uh, extensions here and we gotta make sure you get paint on the inside of this uh, area here because that's all where it's been welded on. So I just wanna show you guys a part of it that not many people do or see is uh, making sure you get paint on these areas here because it's crucial to getting paint on them and putting some of the e-coat and I like to spray back in here as I'm painting it. That way it's treated and has some of the blue or whatever color you're doing on the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this job today. We're gonna make sure we get all our welds treated. That way this job is definitely a good job and inside here it's the same thing. We shot that on, the body man put some of that underneath there, so we're good underneath this edge, but all the other edges, you wanna make sure that you treat them. That way this is a quality job that'll last forever with this truck or as long as this truck is on the road. So nothing's forever, but you wanna do your best. That way we can try to uh, definitely do a quality repair. So this stuff here, this cavity wax, very good stuff and that's what kept the Cutlass alive for all them years without rusting. That car was rust proof back from the factory and all the plugs I had to replace when I did that candy paint job on it. So make sure you guys definitely treat your uh, bare uh, weld areas with some paint. And then after it's painted, treat them with the cavity wax and uh, make sure that thing's gonna last a long time. So I'm gonna shoot this one here. We're gonna make sure we get all our welds done and uh, We'll show it to you finished up. All right, guys, so you've seen me seal it. We went ahead and hit the inside of this. That's the way it's all treated. All the welds up front here, inside the inside of this thing, where it's welded on up front. Everything's got something on it now, so you wanna make sure you do that. We went around the inside of the wheelhouse on the inside, and also down there in the back, uh, it's all been treated now, so. We put paint on all the welds, and then we'll paint the outside. We'll blow a little blue on it. We'll clear the inside of the wheelhouse. And then at the end, we're gonna go ahead and cavity wax the welds to make sure that everything is nice and sealed up the way it should be for a long lasting repair, so.
All right, so you see me putting the base on it and I'm getting a little bit of base blown up on the backside. That way this thing looks factory underneath because I like everything to look like it ain't been touched. So take pride in what you do and uh, whether it's for anybody but yourself, that way you feel good about what you do when you do your job and your work speaks for you. You don't have to talk about it. Just do a good job and that'll take you far in any trade that you're in. When people see you care and you do things to your own standard and only go from there up, like I always tell you, it'll definitely be noticed. So do your job the best, treat your welds, do your corrosion protection. And a lot of you guys will see body men that care, they'll take these panels before they put them on the car and they'll go ahead and e-coat them. That way they're already green to help us out. And when they do that, it definitely helps out. But I like using the sealer because that's a direct to, uh, e-coat so it sticks better to me than that e-coat can does and uh, you know a lot of times they don't scuff it as good as it could so I like using the uh, sealer right on that e-coat for a good adhesion so we're gonna let this one dry and uh, we're gonna be clearing it and then we're gonna be hitting it with that uh, wax and what I like about that wax is it gets all the way if there's a little area of a weld that's not completely sealed up all the way welded perfectly, that wax will get down deep into that weld and actually treat it and that way it's sealed up all the way because that stuff dries after a while. It goes on wet and then it sets up to where it'll stay uh, you know, moisture resistant. So very, very good stuff and I recommend it. So let's get this thing finished up. So the job's all done, it's been baked. And right after it's done baking, I let it cool off and then I hit all my welds with the cavity wax. You guys seen me hit them? That way it's treated with one more step to ensure a good job. So I like this stuff. To me, it's one more thing that'll help this job last. And it's definitely a good product. So I recommend it, check into it and see you on the next one.